Wesley on the beach house. I saw a bandit in the in the other yard. Come on, guys, come on. Oh my goodness. Five knocks. One, two, three, four, five. Then that's me. Okay. So let's really open the door. Okay. Okay. All right. Bye. Okay. Right over there is where we saw him walking. Someone's been messing with the breaker. Wait. You are worth it. That's interesting. I see a black figure. A dark figure behind that tree. He saw us. Are you kidding me? He saw us and he was chasing us. What's going on, man? We have got some great news. You guys sitting down? That chest? Yeah, yeah I remember. And yeah, we couldn't get it open? Right. I got it open. <gasps> Treasure chest open and he said it's a big deal. Go, 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 go. With my head. All right, we are all in the car. We're safe. So far, it looks like there's no bandit behind us. Yep, no white truck. There's no white truck. We did see a white truck in the parking lot though when we were going to leave. Yeah. And the bandit saw us escaping and started chasing Watch us. Up. But I think we were able to hop in the hop in this car and right. drive away before he could get to his truck and follow us. So yeah. we're making good time. Um, I don't think the bandit's following us and I know we don't want to bring the bandit with us because David specifically said make sure the bandit doesn't follow you because it sounds like whatever he found is a big deal and I want to make sure the bandit isn't going to be able to find us. Yeah, I, I think it's scary that he was able to come here but whatever, like we're away from there now and I think it'll be okay. I'm crossing my fingers that he does not follow us though. We got a cool sunroof in this car. Found him. Found him. Yeah, this is the rock. Him. This is the coordinates. It's, it led us to this rock over here. Wow. And there they are. What a view. So there they are. They're all right there. Okay, just. He's pointing right there. Oh, looks like petroglyphs. Hey guys. Hey, I'm not sure if this is it. There's some crazy stuff over here. It's crazy. We, we took pictures. We got your urgent message. I still want to see what you guys found. It, what the note was inside yeah. the book. Okay, let's all get out. Okay. Okay, so it seems like perhaps the note left led all of us over here to this big rock wall. And there's a lot of petroglyphs on here. We've actually seen a lot of petroglyphs before. Yeah, we have. In some of the treasure hunts. Um, but these ones I don't really recognize. They almost look like they're from a different, maybe different time period or yeah. different art, different messages. So I'm not even sure if we're in the right place. But you guys have that note, right? Yeah. Okay, so there's some really interesting petroglyphs here on the wall over here. So you guys were able to get it open? Yeah, we've got it open, so I'm afraid to close them because I don't know if I'll be able to open it back up. Oh yeah, <laughs> okay. But when we opened it, we were like, what the heck? That's there's weird. Here, right? And we didn't know what these words meant, have no oh, idea. Oh, Sick. interesting. Ruda. No idea. Ah, uh, that's weird. Okay. And it's like glued, so there's. I thought maybe there might be clues underneath it or anything, but there's not. Okay. But then I moved this, and we found this. <gasps> wow. This dirty old note. Wow. Okay. So that is really. You want to hear what it has to say? Please, yes. <laughs> okay. It says you found Hamamoto's treasure of six. Okay. The bandits' cash to find to fund your way. The pirates' treasure to use next. Genie in a bottle. He showed you the way. The, I want to say this is healing unicorn horn, which makes sense because it, it did heal. That's right, it right? does heal, yeah. The mind enlightening mermaid tears. 
We've never actually drank the tears, but now I'm kind of curious. Maybe one of Mind and lightning. I know. I oh, kind of wow. want to read it. Super drinking. smart or something. Yeah. The poisonous dragon claw. So now we know it's poisonous. I wish so, you had known that before. Right? Before Katie grabbed it. And then it says, for the, fi the final treasure that you seek, it might not be what you think. Solve the riddle at this place. Once complete, you'll have access to... And it's like... Oh no. I don't know what this is that's on it. There's something underneath that. But I see writing, but I just can't read it. So I don't know if we need to watch this to get it. We well, have to be but... careful. If this paper is as old as I think, it might just yeah. fall apart. It says, if you use it wisely, you will have won and the bandits will have lost. And that's spelled like like one. Okay, not like yeah. the number one. But like, right. Okay, wow. And then be safe and choose wisely. If you, if you use it wisely, you will have won. Use what wisely? You'll have access to something. Yeah, I, I don't what know. What the still heck? Kind of, still kind of a mystery. So what led us here to the petroglyphs? So the, the coordinates that were in here. Okay. So we found coordinates inside the box here. Okay. That led us here. Interesting. And there's some other numbers that maybe, I, I'm assuming they lead us maybe to a second spot. So oh. I'm thinking this might be a two part. Interesting. To this so out. we need to take pictures to get an idea of what's here and then go to the other place and see if they so, if yeah. they work together somehow. according to this, if we can solve the riddle, okay. we'll have access to okay. whatever. Wow, all right. I'm ready. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. All that work to get this box open. I had to like try to burn it, freeze it finally worked. I tried to pick it, I tried to oh hit my it, gosh. I tried to bend it, I tried to break it. <laughs> <laughs> finally got it open and there was this little letter so oh i'm hoping this letter takes us to something really awesome okay well i'm excited to go check it out let's go find the other coordinates then. all right it's gonna be really interesting we've got all the kids with us so hopefully we don't have any more encounters with the bandits and like i i told you on the phone the bandits were where we were staying but i think we lost them when we were coming over here okay. so we should be okay for the rest of our travels today. <laughs> we'll just have to ever ha have everyone keep an eye out, all right? Right, yeah, because cool. they don't know anything about this. Right, we don't want them to know anything no, about it either. Because we want to win and we want the bandits to lose. That's right. Well, the crazy part is now we finally know, like, th it seems it's like- It's coming together. have done it all, like you found all of the things. I feel like now, this is the beginning of the end almost. It's so crazy. <laughs> There's a bandit. Two of them. The truck. I seriously just saw two bandit trucks. Yeah. But there they was were one. parked. There was no one in them. So I don't know if this is bandit territory. I think it is, because they don't just show up like that. I've been seeing lots of white cars. Me too. Me too. White well, keep your eyes peeled, guys. I don't think the bandits followed us there, because I didn't see anybody there, but it's very possible we can still see one on the road. So keep your eyes open behind us in case there's any trucks. Look, we're going through a tree tunnel. Guys, we're going through a tree tunnel. Whoa. Is that a white truck? There's a white truck right there. Duck. White truck. There really is. It's right behind us. Look at that. White truck. And that's, there's a white SUV behind us and a white truck. There's, there are. There's two of them. Two white trucks right behind us, following us as we're going to this next destination. We've got to lose them before we get there, like we, as, as fast left. as possible. We've got to lose them right now. Oh yeah, one of them's farther behind us now, but the other one is really, really close. Okay, we got to, we got to lose them. Okay. We got to make a turn. We got to lose okay. these guys. I think I'm going to turn up. I think I'm going to go off the, the GPS for a minute and see if we can lose them. Look at that. There is a white SUV behind us, Corbin. Let me. Oh, there he is. You gotta start like going, like go a little faster because they're like right behind us. Uh oh. There's water spots on the mirror, but you can see there's nobody following us anymore. I turned off on a really like unknown back road and just drove around for a few minutes. And then when I went back out to the main freeway, they were gone. So I think we lost them. They're not behind us right now. But check out this view. Look at this river we got over here. We have a river through those bushes. Can you even see it? Oh, we looked at the last moment. So. But on this side, we have this. And on that side, we have a river. 
I'm really glad that we lost the bandits. That was a close call. But we're really close to the next destination where we're going to find more petroglyphs from the coordinates that were in the uh, chest that the, that YouTube family found. So we'll be there in, in just a couple more minutes. <laughs> White truck, white truck, white truck. Okay, we're here, we met up with that YouTube family again. We're at the second, or the place where it told us to go. Supposedly there's gonna be some more petroglyphs up here. Cause right up there is where the other coordinates are leading to, right? Okay. Right up there, you can see some of the base. Okay. Oh, I do see some. <gasps> yeah, that's Yeah, right. I will zoom in, I'm gonna show you exactly what I see. Right there, that. Okay, so yeah, you guys keep the kids right here. There's a cliff. We're pretty close to the edge of the cliff. You can see the river out there, and there's a lot of mountains around here, but it looks like the petroglyphs are still a little bit higher up, but the trails become a bit treacherous. So you guys are gonna stay here, right? Take a look at this, guys. Prowling predators. So right up here on this rock, you can see these are old, old old dinosaur tracks up on this rock kind of cool it's amazing the history that is up here with these dino tracks awesome so but it's t definitely terrifying because of how steep this cliff is right here i don't know how the dinosaurs got up here or how these rocks even got up here but it's pretty incredible seeing some of the stuff there is up here in these mountains so it seems like the bandits, the note from the bandits has led us up here. So we better keep looking and just kind of see what kind of message we can find. If there's a message written into the petroglyphs that has something to do with the, with the bandits' treasures, that'll be really interesting. Not much of a, not a very defined path up here, which makes me wonder if this place isn't as commonly visited. Maybe this is a little bit less well known. I think we're getting close though family's still way down there. We didn't feel comfortable bringing it up this far just because of how treacherous it is and how steep these cliffs are. I'm out of breath. Yeah. <laughs> say, where are you going? <laughs> okay. I can see them. We're here. Yeah. Oh, I think this is the place. This wow. view is pretty incredible too. Ready and thirsty for a drink of green water? <laughs> That water does look actually kind of fun. I wonder if people boat on it or anything. I don't know. Okay, wow. Look at these. These markings. Guys, take a look at this. Look at those. They, have like, they look like they have horns on their heads. And there's animals or something. Any ideas? You know, it's telling a story, but again, just like the dinosaurs, I'm wondering why the different, why, why bring us here of all things? Yeah. So I've been taking some pictures of these things. I'm thinking, because it says we have to solve the riddle here. Right. I'm thinking this is the riddle. It's definitely so a riddle. I'm just kind of looking at it and thinking about some of the different um, treasures that we found. Oh yeah. You know, those guys look like they have horns on them. Could that be a unicorn? On that one right there? Oh yeah, this right here. 
And is that a clue back to the unicorn horn that you guys have? It definitely looks like it's some type of a four-legged creature, like a unicorn would be. That, that... Does this kind of look like water to you? It does. Like waves? Like maybe that has to do with the ocean or the mermaids? Yeah, I mean, this could be a mermaid even, that right there. Oh yeah! yeah. Um, so there's the mermaid. There's other horns here. That kind of looks like the dragon's claw on the head, but that would be a horn, right? So let's see if there's claws or anything like this, that. This looks like a strange creature of sorts. So could that be like a dragon? That could be the dragon. There's some other ones over here too. Oh yeah, let's go look over there too. <gasps> this is the one I'm thinking that might look like it has something to do with the claw. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Definitely. Might be easier to see from back. I don't know. But look, those look like claws. Yes. On that creature and horns. That could be the dragon. I would say, absolutely. Definitely. That's definitely not human. Whatever it is. That's incredible. So I'm thinking those are pieces of what we need to start putting together. Okay. Yeah, definitely, definitely onto something here. Wonder if we might see. This sounds weird, but what if there's like bandits on the on the petroglyphs too? You think these are like prehistoric bandits? Maybe, or the bandits, or they came here and actually came hit here. It? Yeah, I don't know if the bandits are connected somehow. As as far back as thousands of years, maybe they've been around. They could have been, yeah, absolutely. Like there's another one down there. On the that could be this one right here. What if that's a bandit? That's bizarre. So now we gotta figure out what this means. The, the, the women are much smarter than us. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a lot of this stuff back. Pictures. Give it to Katie. Okay. And uh, see if maybe she can figure it out, Jordan. And That's uh, good thinking. I'll do that too. Uh, let's, let's try to figure this out. Okay. People there? Yeah. So they're looking at the look pictures. Look at that and look at what's between them. We're hoping maybe they can help us it? solve the riddle of what these pictures mean. No, what is that? So James, why would, they, why would the wrong? letter point out all Sit. the different treasures and then point us here that has rocks that has drawings on it that look like the treasures? And that, that, wow. I wonder if we're supposed to get these treasures together because have you noticed on these pictures it looks similar to the treasures we found? Like it shows like the water, the mermaid. Yeah, they kind of correlate to each other. Like these pictures look mm. like they correlate with all of the different treasures that have been found. I'm kind of thinking that we might have to get our treasures together. Okay. We've been trying to keep those apart. Yeah. Is this a good idea? This says we should, but I don't know. It's kind of leading us that direction. Should we find out what happens if we bring all the treasures together? I think we should. I think so. Oh. Okay, are you ready to go, Becca? How was that? That was nerve-wracking. With all the kids? Yeah, I mean, there was literally cliffs on, well, a cliff on the one side, and we were just holding cliffs them everywhere. Like, while you were exploring. I'm really interested to see exactly what you found. Yeah, I think that wraps up what we found here. If you want to find out more about some of the details of what we saw and what we kind of figured out, definitely go check out that YouTube Families video. I'll have the link in the description below in the pinned comment. But I think ultimately what we kind of figured out was it seems like the message that we got from the petroglyphs was that we need to bring all the treasures together. Okay. Um, so I think that up, up until this point we've been very careful to keep them as far apart from each other as possible. So that we didn't know what was going to happen. We didn't know what would happen and we didn't want the bandits to get them and if they were all together it would make it easier for yeah, the bandits to take the them all. Part. But it looks like the message that we got from the petroglyphs is that we need to bring them together and I think we'll just kind of see what happens yeah. when we get them all close together because they're definitely magical like they have powers and so if we bring them together it'll be really interesting to see what kind of thing might happen when yeah. we do that so yeah. definitely stay tuned you guys it's gonna be big and I'm really excited to see what happens. Ooh. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.